Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here on this Saturday, May the 11th, 2024, in the place to be, baby, baby. I'm doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous. And I hope you are as well. I hope everyone's doing whatever they can to um, bring joy into their lives, enthusiasm, um, because you really have no choice at this point. And that all makes sense, you know, when the time is right for some people. Um, some people um, like to stay in denial. That's a choice. A lot of people like to stay in um, delusion. And a lot of people are hallucinating. Hallucinating about what they think they are, who they think they are, and what they think they know. You know, and a lot of them have never read a book in their lives. And that's, and that's not necessarily the issue about reading a book or not. It's applying logic and reason and being rational about your arguments and your theories and opinions, which you're allowed to have. But a lot of people have uh, turned their theories and opinions into knowledge and into truth, and that's a bunch of bullshit. Okay, and it has to be called, and I'm calling it. I've, I've got a lot of videos out there on various topics and and what I did was plant stuff into some plant it into consciousness of anyone that resonates with it I know that people do resonate and I'm not going to be concerned about what analysts has to say about it you know a certain certain reports of anal analytical uh, presumption because it all is presumptions and and the only reason why I call it presumptions is if you think about what did we do before the internet? Right? What did we do before the internet? And what the issue is, a lot of people are forgetting that. We're just, uh, our memories are being clouded. And sadly, a lot of memories are being just erased from a self created, earthbound dementia, which is atrophy. And, you know, and is due to improper thinking or non thinking. Okay? I got a lot of sounds going on in here. I hope I look good like I know I should, you know what I mean? I've been out and about running around handling my business. I've been eating, snacking on stuff, which I love to do. But I said I want to come back in here and talk about fallacy. And the fallacy, you know, if you don't apply, okay, let's, let's first give a de definition of what fallacy says in, the dic in these dictionaries online. It's not anything hidden. It's not anything that's uh, concealed. Here it is. This is what it says. Okay? A fallacy is the use of invalid or otherwise faulty reasoning in the construction of an argument. Okay? Faulty reasoning. And reasoning is the capacity of applying logic consciously by drawing conclusions from new or existing information with the aim of seeking the truth. It is associated, it's associated with such characteristically human activities such as philosophy, religion, science, language, blah, 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 right? Those things are, you know, uh, supposedly, right? If um, based on how you were taught, or maybe I'll come back to that about how you were taught. Um, because a lot of a lot of things are coming to light for a lot of people, you know, a lot of people are waking up to the fact that they have been deceived and manipulated intentionally. Okay, you've been deceived uh, intentionally to not to think. Thus, if you are thinking, then you would have snapped out of your indoctrination hundreds of years ago thousands of years ago and possibly millions of years ago all right so here we are facing each other and the cars are on the table and the cars have been on the table for hundreds of years waiting for you to make your move okay so the um the lack of understanding reason is what's sending a lot of people into a self-created man-made abyss or vortex and that's where they'll spend forever 
and it doesn't matter who their future personalities will be and I know you know I'm gonna stay off of that for right now about that because a lot of people are are not accepting of future personalities or uh, future realities all right so let's stay with what we have now okay we can do that right uh, and so this is for adults of course uh, my content is for adults and I know who's listening regardless of what is um, portrayed in followers and what's portrayed in likes a lot of people need to get out of that delusions get out of those delusions of how that works yes you know you can so a lot of people will say well you know these uh, these are uh, algorithm reports reflect what what how people are engaging okay and now come on now is that true is that true that sounds faulty to me okay it sounds faulty to me okay because because look I come from a background of if somebody wants to be clandestine and what their activities are they will be okay um, it is um it's it's almost um because listen uh i don't know anyone that doesn't necessarily want to know the truth right i mean i'm i, I understand a lot of people are asking for that they want the truth but then at the same time i don't think a lot of people will be able to handle it and i and i truly mean that in a genuine sense so that's why I have to be strategic in what I'm doing and it may not make sense to anybody you know which I know it does but I can accept that argument that okay this is way over people's head nobody's gonna understand this and that is true in when you're developing whether you're in kindergarten or a scholar you have a scholar background you can have a scarlet background and have no more knowledge than a kinder someone in kindergarten and vice versa so that's the meaning of thinking you need to if you choose to think in not just this i i, I guess what do they call it uh a two-dimensional one-dimensional you know uh when you're thinking it requires a whole lot it, it requires a feet a sphere of of uh, elements to consider okay a lot of us are, are a lot of us are, are believing that we are we're we're operating out of uh, of spiritual energy or but in most cases it's all it's all literal literal information you know literal you know you're just picking it up on a literal basis okay uh, literal it says um, let's see what it says in, in some of these uh, online dictionaries that I go to I just go to these online dictionaries read what they have to say here that's all AI generated by the way based on information that's on the internet now because it's on the internet doesn't mean it's true at all it requires discernment okay so it doesn't matter if you are in kindergarten or middle school or you're a scholar or a scientist I mean you still have to discern it and it has to make sense to you right so literally it says um, in a way that uses ordinary or primary meaning of a term or expression emphasizes the truth accuracy accuracy of a statement or description well is used to do so um, it's you know supposedly it's in a completely accurate way. Can literal can literally mean figuratively. Okay, you know this you know I I used to have a little small pocket dictionary when I was growing up and carried it with me for years, four years, and then uh, of course we had a psychopedia we had um. Encyclopedias in our home, 
and all kind of things. Dictionaries was one of my favorites because I used to have a hard time pronouncing words. So I would, I would go to the dictionary and see how it's, you know, see if I can spell, uh, pronounce it out as, as we were taught in school. So, so like I said, some things can be done in, in a clandestine um, reality and you have you and most people have no idea that that is happening it's happening now on facebook i mean facebook all these social media platforms I, you know this will always look like there's something going on there but it isn't just that everybody know um yeah i've been having these issues with the thyroids for years okay so clandestines what does that mean it says a state of being white hot mm, i don't know i don't know uh, it says glowing or dazzling from or as if from great heat. Okay. Let me get it in a uh, in a um, another related term. You know, maybe that's not the right word. That's why I want. That's why I like to make sure I, you know, look things up to see, you know, uh, so again, the, the, what, what I want to focus on though is a fallacy, but <laughs> As you are attempting to understand things, this is, you know, this is, you know, what we are supposed to do naturally, right? Uh, so it says here, fallacies may be committed intentionally to manipulate or persuade by deception. Okay. Unintentionally because of the human limitations, such as carelessness, cognitive and social biases and ignorance. Okay, ignorance. So, and sadly, um, fallacies can, fallacies have run rampant in our development and in our development as human beings and in our development collectively and in our development universally, you know, as a universal, uh, you know, stance as well. Now, Fallacies can be formal or informal. What it says here, fallacies are a type of erroneous reasoning that render arguments logically unsound. Okay, they're unsound arguments. But some people, like the order, oratories, like I told you, oratories come in all fashions. And on the, on the social media platform, they're running rampant. Okay, they're the so-called cultural experts. They seem to know everything about everybody's culture but themselves. They don't know anything about themselves and they refuse to look within because they hate themselves. Okay, so but they want to try to supersede that and be oratories and believe that they know more than they do and they have more than they have. Yes, they may be materialistically uh, prowess may have that. Okay, but any, everything else is flawed within, faulty within. Oratories, an art of public speaking in an eloquent and fit and effective manner. Okay, they can they can they can uh, project so much rhetoric to you because they they're skilled at it. This started in their adolescence. Okay, it started in their young puberty years this this way of being deceptive being deceptive and manipulative and it and it could have been towards their guardians or their guardians were projecting that onto them it goes both ways usually okay if you're bullied you're bullying if you are hated if you're if, if there's hatred you're hating love you're loving but we want to get to a point to where we understand what it means to love and what it means to hate so that we can neutralize all of it and then, and love always wins. A lot of people say that love wins. Yes, it does. 
But you need to recognize that hate is standing right there in your face as well. It will always be. You can't get away. You can't get away from it. And we we atta we are attached to uh, negativity. Okay, we can. We can do whatever we want with it. But it's not so much like I said, getting caught up in the words. But yes, oratories have they're skillful. You know, they are. Sometimes they have a great rhythm to themselves because of the way they speak. Okay, they have this great harmony. You know that sounds and tones that they can, that you know that they can use to manipulate you, deceive you, indoctrinate you. All right, let's just see if we can think without a without the internet and without social media. How did we handle these type of situations before? Okay, I grew up in the black culture where you know there was a preacher on every corner, there was a church on every corner. Okay, so we physically. I should say, let me just stick with I. I physically saw, you know, because that's what's, that's how I, that's how I uh, ingrained things into me. I physically saw what was happening in the community, but I know how a lot of us were able to navigate through it, you know, and get through it safely, okay? Because I knew um, that if there was an issue going on with me outside of my house, I knew I can go to my parents and see what, see what can be done. And since we were all taught how to behave and act with values and virtues, you know, I knew what to do in certain situations. Okay, I know how to get away, you know, from danger. I didn't, I didn't necessarily seek it, seek it out. All right? So, fallacies. So we are literally figuratively and metaphorically saturated with that all over the place, especially on the social media platforms, especially on the internet where everybody's talking, which I, look, I'm going to be real honest with you. I am enjoying how people are coming forward and sharing their stories, whether anybody else likes it or not. And the most people that don't like it is because they're probably not getting as much attention as they once were. Okay. They thought they were the, the authorities. Okay. And thought they, you know, are supposed to have all of the attention on them okay we're going to have a lot of this uh this this uh you know this complaining about people telling their stories it's bothering a lot of people and i know it okay and i like it that people are coming forth sharing their stories now whether they're lying about it or not that's going to be on them and i will not play around with that i will not play around with attempting to fool your consciousness okay do not attempt to fool your consciousness to think you know more than you do and to lie and manipulate and deceive and don't think there's a cause and effect for that. Okay, we're in we're 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 approaching the dawning of the age of Aquarius, which is a cosmic event based on coming out of beliefs and going coming out of beliefs and going into knowledge. And if you are still saturated and swirling around in beliefs, you're gonna be left behind. And that's literally figuratively and metaphorically and that's going to all make sense like I, like I said some things are uneventful to people because they're unconscious yes they're op operating like a human being in the truth you know in a, in a perception of true human beingness but they're unconscious they don't realize or recognize what's really going on you know they're hallucinating just as if they were having a mental illness we all have some type of issues with our mentality and how we are absorbing all of this stuff going on and I told you if you feel crazy you ought to but be kind and gentle with yourself and stay grounded in your reality and say okay what's real to me and what's not okay you ought to know the difference at a certain point in your development between what's real and not I know it's going to be extremely 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 difficult to navigate through this on the social media platform and as a matter of fact, it's going to be almost impossible to do so. That's why you need to be strategic and, and do the best you can to know. See, because if you are operating out of a, a genuinely authentic position, okay, that's fantastic. If you're somewhat decent, you know what I mean? When I say somewhat, you know, what does that mean to you to be decent? All right? If you are just doing everything in your power to help people, and sure you want to make money, who doesn't? But you're not it's not greed for you. 
You know, who, who doesn't want the finer things in life? You know, being able to pay your bills and still enjoy the finer things in life. Who doesn't want that? If someone says they don't want that, they're lying to you. Okay? People that, some people that recluse themselves or call, you know, are angry too. Because they think that's what you're, they think that's what they're supposed to do. But they're angry because they know that they're not happy doing so. You know, like celibacy. Who would, who would go through, who would choose celibacy? Okay, who would choose that? Now, there are factors that we can do to self-please ourselves. Of course, of course. And thankfully for that. But that can become degenerate, perversive, perversive as well. So, there's a lot of people that are um, conforming themselves because they believe that's what they're supposed to do. But they haven't thought it. That's a belief when they think they're supposed to do it without thinking it through to say, okay, is this proper? Is this what I'm supposed? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? How does it feel to me? What is it, you know? Then you have to go through all your sensing. How does that? How does that look to me? How does that sound to me? How am I feeling about that? Is it logical, reasonable? Does it make sense? Okay. So yeah. So as long as you're doing the best thing you can do to be a decent human being with kindness and and be and have some integrity about yourself some values you know you're gonna you're gonna figure it out and th and then as the, at the same time you know we're all gonna be manipulated okay we're all gonna be deceived but okay say okay that's what we're dealing with but when you stop thinking about things you have to think about decisions on those levels and you need to keep doing that and doing it and doing it until it becomes a habit just like meditation. Meditation is thinking. It's synonymous with thinking. When you're meditating, you're thinking. When you're thinking, you're meditating. Okay? So, there's a lot of people rambling with their rhetoric. Okay? And they and this has been going on for thousands of years, unfortunately. And they are the, they're very loud. And usually, uh, they're loud and, and um, arrogant and cocky because nobody would pay attention to them otherwise. Okay? Before the internet, a lot of people were able to, uh, uh, to operate behind the scenes, remember? You had no idea what these, sometimes what these people look like. No idea. Okay, I, I know for a fact because I worked in a lot of, I took a lot of courses back in the day before the internet. You know, marketing courses, uh, business courses, and this and that and the other. And then once the internet came, came, up, came, up, you know, came online, so to speak, I was taking a lot of courses then. Okay, I, I spent I spent thousands of dollars on stuff. Did I get my value? You know, time will tell with that, but in in, in most cases, um, it was all smoke and mirrors. Some of it, uh, a lot of it was um, um, deceptive in some cases. Some people that I had been, and they all were teachers too. They were all teachers, whether they were deceiving me and manipulating me, indoctrinating me. <laughs> those are teachers, you know, those are teachers. So, so I don't understand the world by choice of all of this, what's all of this pyramid schemes, these, uh, uh, these other means of uh, what do they call it. It's, it's like a marketing, marketing schemes. I am not, um, I'm not great about multi-level marketing businesses or pyramid schemes. Um, a lot of people are very, a lot of people are fantastic with that. And we do need a certain levels of it. We do. Okay. But when is enough, is, when is enough, enough though? Okay. When is enough, enough? So... I am not a marketer, a marketeer, you know, I know the creative aspects of my skills and abilities. I know I need to use the internet. I know I need to use um, certain formulas. I know people want return on their investments. I know people want uh, to know, okay, why do they need me? Why, you know, I know all of that, okay? But this is a, this is a little different as to what I'm doing. And 
and I said it, it's, it's, it's planting seeds, okay, but at the same time, providing help and assistance for those that want it, those that need it, those that may see it as a value. And, it's, and what I offer is uh, helping cultivating, contemplating your consciousness, evolving your consciousness, which is, like I said, consciousness, evolution, all of that has something to do with your mode of thinking. Okay? And I just want to clarify something, too, that I uh, had agreed with. When someone says that you need to un unlearn something and learn... When, okay. To, to say that you need to un unlearn something is not necessarily healthy. What you have to... What, what you need to do is see if you can neutralize what you've learned against what you're learning, okay, what you know against what you're knowing, okay, and see if you can kind of coat, uh, kind of bring it together figuratively and metaphorically. Um, so it's not like, so you don't want to unlearn anything because that's, there's value in that because how are you going to know if it's, the, because you don't want to get yourself into another belief, that's all. That's, that's where that can be a shaky ground. You can go from one belief to another belief. You know, you can go from one manipulation to another manipulation. So just keep what you know and keep knowing. Keep what you've learned and keep learning, okay, so that you can measure your, um, your climb and your vibration and your knowledge, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, so, again... When it comes to fallacies, okay, um, we really need to pay attention to who's, who's uh, verbalizing that to us. What's their intention? Okay, what's their evidence? Okay, what, you know, and a lot of it is, uh, is uh, when they're attempting to, see, when they're attempting to gather evidence, uh, they, 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 you know, if you have to lie to someone to get the truth, isn't it logical to to know? It's not believe. It's logical to know that if you're lying to people to get the truth, they're gonna lie to you and claim they're giving you the truth. Okay, so sitting around rambling at people and talking to people and think they're going to give you the truth after 10 hours of questioning them is illogical and abusive. Okay, it's illogical and abusive. Okay, we need to change our thinking modes and thus change how we are behaving and acting and treating people. Okay? So all because you can sit down and, 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 and first... You know, if you are talking to a liar, quote unquote, um, what does that say about you? Because you could be talking to a liar and relate to that liar because what? You, you're possibly a liar too? I don't know. Think about that. Okay. Either you have evidence or you don't. But it, it's illogical to believe, because it is a belief, that if I lie to these people to get the truth from them, okay, and, and not think that they're going to lie to you. That's why informants, you know, informants have caused a lot of death sentences for innocent people for hundreds of years, thousands of years, okay? Certain type of police investigations have caused people to go on death row for hundreds of years, thousands of years because of their, their, their so-called tactics, which is nothing more, nothing less than as, as, as bias investigation, especially if you don't understand human beings. Okay, a lot of people in these certain type of fields have no idea how to relate to human beings because they always felt that they were above that. They were above other human beings. Okay, so fallacies are used in place of valid reasoning to communicate a point with the intention to persuade. When someone's attempting to persuade you, they are attempting to indoctrinate you. 
and manipulate you, okay? Mass media is perfect for that. The propagandas, advertising, politics is uh, synonymous with fallacies. Politicians, politics, the act of politics, let's put it that way, because I'm not saying all politicians. I'm saying the act of politics is is um, is uh, saturated in fallacies. Okay? Propaganda. News media especially. The news media has been used for thousands of years to project a certain narrative to the populations. And unfortunately, we all were, we all were taken in by it. You know, during the political season especially. Now, you know, the political season, again, let me just make this very clear and effective. I don't have a television. I don't have any streaming service. I use free streaming service. I use uh, YouTube. I've said that. I go on the social media platforms. Okay. But at the same time, um, I've self-educated myself for, for decades. So I have the necessary uh, uh, abilities within me to think clearly and effectively. But at the same time, be misled as well. Be, be misinformed as well. Okay, to have un, you know to have untrustworthy news come towards me, you know, hey, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, but deep within me, in my innermost being, I'm fine. You know, hey, brush it off, move it on. You know, we all gonna get hurt eagles. You know, when people reject you, when people uh, dismiss you, when people uh, laugh at you. You know, a lot of people get really, really, really. Um, bothered by that and it causes rage to build up into them you know when that kind of stuff is happening so that's why you got to separate your ego make it impersonal when you're doing all of this research you are going to be turned upside down because inwardly as part of being a human being in the true sense if something is not adding up your body is supposed to react that's that's the energy of your existence. We're spiritual. We're spiritual. So we have those components within us, all of us, which is a birthright to recognize danger. You know, your hair is not just going to stand up on the back of your neck for no reason unless there's a reason. And so that's where we are losing it in reason. We're losing it in reason. And it's a capacity to apply logic consciously, not unconsciously by drawing conclusions from new or existing information with the aim of seeking the truth, okay? Now, a lot of people are, you know, all anal about followers. Not all people, but let me just make, just let me say this, because I know a lot of people get offended because a lot of people believe that they need all these follow, people following them. And yes, yeah, some people do get paid for that. Think about what that is, though. Think about what you're doing. And if you're okay and comfortable with that, that's fine. Um, I, know, I know a lot of people have said over the years, which you know, you know, these are the most these are the most uh, narcissistic clerics and you know all uh, sociopaths, psychopaths. But they always say, "Don't work hard, work smart." You know that rambling garbage, because that's garbage. Okay. So, and some people are so ha so comfortable with earning money that they have not earned. You know, just sitting back and what do they call? It? I mean, look, I uh, what what I'm doing eventually, eventually, is going to be done in the background because I laid the foundation. I laid the proper foundation. So yes, I'm going to reap my benefits from that because I laid the proper foundation. Okay. I mean, that makes sense to me. But to tell all the people that don't work hard, just work smart, okay, that's why AI is going to be taken over. Okay? That's why AI is going to be taken over. If you believe that, you have to put in some physical effort and some, some, some type of effort into something. Whether you're walking somewhere, whether you're driving somewhere, Okay, so so
So what is happening to a lot of us, especially with the social media platform, unfortunately, because these, the, th those in the background know that nobody's reading. Okay, the, the results speak for themselves that the majority of people are not reading. They rely on these influencers or these so-called um, cultural experts or just experts in general to tell them something and without without thought because most people are not thinking they say okay you know they accept it okay so I wanted to inter introduce that concept to to let you know that um, if you decide to allow someone one else to think for you you can however that person that you are allowing to think for you are, are going to send you over a cliff literally figuratively and metaphorically I told you about a week about a month ago such such, such a uh, experience happened for for me and others you know because I'm a part of a I'm a part of a, a like-mindedness of people all over the world, you know, all over the stars and moon and mountain, <laughs> you know, where, you know, you know, where it's, it's difficult in, in, in what we are dealing with to call out the bad guys, so to speak, quote unquote. It's difficult because I still got to feed myself, you know, so that's why I said the gatekeepers are allowed to fall asleep on the job they are because they need to know the errors in their ways and they need to be honest about what their job is and what their duties are and, and in most cases just trust themselves anybody can come forward and say anything to you and, and make promises to make promises to you about um, this or that and the other um, Again, I used to say, I've been rejected just as much as I have rejected others. Okay, it's a two-way street. And I'm okay with that. You know, you know, some people reject you. And a lot of people get bent out of shape about that. Uh, <laughs> it comes with the territory, actually. And, you know, you have to look at it literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. When we were met with this uh, situation that happened, oh, I guess it's about a month, going on a month ago. Um, thankfully, like I said, I trusted myself and realized, okay, there is a problem here. But to, but it's not my responsibility to make anybody uh, see, sense, receive, or whatever what's causing harm to one or all you know it's not my responsibility I mean I called it out as and I did it as literally as I could and most but in most cases figuratively and metaphorically I am not responsible for removing the mask from anyone except myself I am not responsible for worrying about whether I can trust somebody unless I can trust myself I cannot save everybody and nor can anyone else I can resonate my sounds and tones does re resonate with certain people in a silent in a silent revolution, and I can't do it all by myself. So I have to sh know I have to know that certain other like mindedness have to do it in their own way and be as creative as possible. I may not agree with it, but if there's a if there's something that is bothering me and churning inside of me about a particular type of personality. I'm going to pay attention to it and see if I can resolve it and then make others aware in the best way I can creatively. Okay, for me to come out and say, okay, he's lying to you. Okay, what, is that, what does that sound like? What I can say to you is, have you considered what they're saying to you and does it make sense to you? How does it make you feel? You know, I can do all that. <laughs> but again, when someone tells you um, when someone tells you that they are uh, wanting the truth about things, 
just consider, okay, where is it all coming from? What is the benefit from them claiming to be giving you the truth? See, fallacies are, they can be in, in, a math, you know, in math sense. It can be in, in all kind of arguments. Mostly, you know, people can, can exploit you in their fallacies emotionally, intellectually, psychologically, especially. Okay, um, and, and and again, you have to you have to look at the person that's uh, spewing a lot of this, this this these fallacies to you, uh, a material fallacy is an error in what the arguer is talking about, while the verbal fallacy is an error, e r r o r, and how the argument argue, arguer is talking. Okay, there's a lot of improper rhetoric out there. And like I said, uh, there are people running around claiming they are solving murders and solving crimes and, and, and it's, it's, it's uh, fallacies. But because a lot of people are tired and that's in their consciousness, they're just tired. They, you know, they got, they're overwhelmed, their plates are filled and they're going to close cases. They're going to accept evidence. They're going to accept arguments they're going to, you know because they're tired you know their plates are filled they want to go home to their parents they want to go home to their children's i mean their children you hear me with that is on children <laughs> they want to go home to their spouses their wives their husbands their significant other they want to enjoy the fruit of their labor too they don't want to be spending all their time in an office and i don't blame them it's overwhelming okay it's overwhelming that's why, that's why in first responders, the interpersonal relationships are not good at all, no matter what they present to you, okay? Interpersonal relationships for those in first responder positions is less than favorable, okay? And, and sometimes in some certain cases, downright, downright dangerous, okay? Pay attention. So, again... Um, pay attention to those out there, especially in the uh, social media platforms that are doing everything in their power to step on everybody to get into your face and, and, and tell you anything that you, they think you want to hear. Okay. What I'm doing with these videos, okay, these, what I'm saying in these videos are, yes, there's a lot of information, a lot of content, and that's per I do that on purpose. There's a I have a strategic plan as to what I'm doing and I know what I'm doing. Okay, and I appreciate those of you that are accepting of that. You may not agree and that's not the whole purpose of it anyway. But if you can help me, help me. If you don't want to, help me, don't. You know, if you want to donate, go to my website, donate, do whatever you want. Okay, I'm not going to stop what I'm doing because it's a birthright. This is a birthright, okay, and 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 is and it's important, okay. So, once again, pay attention to what people are attempting to to deceive you with, persuade persuade you, manipulate you, indoctrinate you in the in the form of their fallacies and their verbal fallacies, okay. Or and it's usually done by oratories of those that are desperately, desperately seeking attention, otherwise nobody would pay them attention at all. And in most cases, they're not, they're not easy on the eyes. I'm just being very honest with you. They're not easy on the eyes, but then there's some that are easy on the eyes, and they manipulate you that, well, that way as well. You know, these are oratories. They're usually in, in dressed in nice clothing. They smell good. They look good. You know, that's that degeneracy that has, you know, and so in, in, in most cases, you can't... You cannot uh, de determine whether they're wolves or sheep, or sheeps or wolves. <coughs> you can't tell the difference anymore. But there are some classic ones that will not go away because, you know, they, they feel like they have ownership to things. They have this superiority complex. You know, all right? And some that want to be in certain cultures, you know, they can't stand their own culture. Okay, they, they don't want to see, they don't want to look in the mirror. They probably don't, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. 
and worry about what's going on in their their culture but they want to infuse themselves in certain other cultures and, and be dominant and, th and think they're superior and think they're all knowing okay so pay attention okay you are responsible for self-educating yourself okay there is no more no more excuses unfortunately and a lot of a lot of people are running out of time and what and I and time has many layers of factors you need to consider and think about okay and, and ask yourself okay what you know what is this what is this really all about you know there's no soundness in fallacies it's all about okay let me get all the, the attention on me eyes on me eyes on me okay that's what that's that's what it's all about when people are claiming this and then the other and we okay I we and us have allowed it to happen for thousands of years hundreds of years for decades so I speak to those individually driven people that are doing everything in their power to rec reclaim their power and they're doing it because they know that no one has to know no one has to know that you 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 that you're um, educating and self-educating yourself that's a silent revolution in itself and it's necessary thinking is synonymous with meditation okay thinking 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 it through and you have to acquire you have to um, you have to bring in all those, all those sensings, all of those uh, factors to make proper decisions and not allow someone else to do that for you. Okay? So, I'm going to stop right there. This is going to be, you know, the first part of my, my speaking on fallacies and how they are destroying the consciousness of so many other people that are refute just you know and it's destroying their consciousness because a lot of people are overwhelmed and they don't want to deal with things they want certain things to go away so that they can you know bring themselves out of certain um realities and so they don't want to keep spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning they want to get out of the spin cycle okay they want to get out of that that, that spin cycle of their realities so do some research on fallacies you know, there's some. There's a lot of information on the internet. Um, you know, just be open uh, and be patient with people like myself, especially when I'm doing the, doing certain things to to disseminate it. But again, it is not for me to be rich. Okay, I'm not looking to be an rich about doing this. Okay, if something's a birthright, that's free. Okay, that's free knowledge, but I can be supported as well in certain aspects of what I'm doing. So I'll put out certain materials to reflect that, okay? So I want to send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. It's about universal love at the end of the day. That's what it's all about for me. Okay, and I want to send it out and please share it, okay? Trust me. I'll be back. <laughs>